that shaitan will say when the matter is decided. And this is a picture in Jahannam, in hell. When the people are down burning in hell and they see the shaitan burning in hell, they say, but you promised us. You promised us the promise of truth. And he said, I had no authority over you, but I called you and you came. I had no authority over you. And they really have no authority over us. But they call us, they put out the signals, they put out the advertisement, and we follow them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also told to the shaitan and made it clear, well, Iyadu Billah, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan illa man ittaba'aka min al ghawin that surely amongst my slaves, my worshippers, you will have no authority over them except those who follow you from the evil doers. Except those who submit to you and submit to this system. And so we find ourselves Muslims and non-Muslims, people of conscience, people of goodness, who knew this world 30 or 40, 50 years ago, who knew their generations, knew their grandparents, and see the social fabric of society falling apart, racism on the rise, murder being spread all throughout the planets, and then they are accusing Muslims. Why are they accusing us of this? Let's go to the bottom line. And what you have to realize, if behind all of these secret societies is the evil one, is the shaitan or iyadu billah, then he will attack the holders of truth. That if you are talking and living the revelation, you become an enemy to the evil one. Well, iyadu billah. And so the reality is that we must never forget that Muslims must never forget that Islam is the real solution for this planet. We hold the solution in our hands. We hold it in our hearts. And we need to practice this now. Never forget who you are. Nobody cares if you just wear a kufi on your head. Or if you just say that your name is Ahmed. The biggest gangsters in Cape Town have Muslim names. The biggest gangsters. So nobody cares what your name is. But you have to realize that we have an interest-free economy. That if Allah blesses us with a state, we would establish a, a cooperative society which is not capitalism, it is not socialism. The banks will lend you money with no interest. It will be a cooperative system where if you have land and the bank gives you money, if your project succeeds, you both succeed. If your project fails, you both fail. Now, if you borrow money, if you fail, the bank wins and you fail. How many people know the, the, the pressure of living under a mortgage or a bond? It follows you all your life. Some people pay the bond for 20 years. Hard labor. And then when they can't pay, their house is taken away from them. Some of them never live to see the fruits of their labor. It is burnt up in papers. And so an interest-free, cooperative society. And if our sheikhdoms, if our rich leaders would take their money out of these interest banks and put it into an Islamic economy, we would change the face of this earth. That, for many people, is the bottom line. But don't forget also that within our understanding is the true belief in one God, the true Tawheed, with no confusion, no human beings as God, no idols as God, no confusion about your Creator, but a way to communicate without a Pope, without a Bishop. Each individual can communicate, email can communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also have strong families. We emphasize strong families. Stay together. And Islam is telling us, and never forget, and try within your lifetime, that father and mother try to eat 
with your children. Establish your family so that the children are eating with their parents. Spend time, father, spend time with your children. Mother, spend time. Don't spend all your time chasing the dollar. Chasing something which will rise and fall in the twinkling of an eye. But we encourage the strong institution of the family. We also have a clear identity for male and female. And if we are practicing Islam, we should not be confused if we're a man or a woman. We shouldn't be confused. We also have a cure for racism. That you don't look at the color of a person's skin. You don't base that, that, the judgment of that person, not on their color, not on their language, not on the texture of their hair, but it is taqwa. It is the piety. It is the God consciousness. That is how you should judge an individual. We also have a holistic science that would take us into an era of science whereby the scientist would think of the creator. That in using technology, we would not be destroying life, but enhancing life, developing the earth, and not just developing plastics, and trying to make more money with our science and technology. And we also have a khilafat, that we want to be ruled by the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that the leader would be the one who would institute these laws, not from any special family, but the one who deserves to be the ruler of the people. And so, with a system that is so clear and honest and straightforward, why are we under attack? That is the job of deception. And the deception has come in this new globalization form, this, this now, this, this spread of technology, it is now shifted to us, trying to make us into an evil force. But never forget that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he was called Majnoon, crazy. He was called Sahir, a magician. He was called a Kahin, a wizard. He was called Sha'ir, a poet. They used many names for him. They persecuted him. They tried to destroy his family. They tried to destroy his society. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power over all things. يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِئُوا نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ مُتِمُّ نُورِي وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ They want to put out the light of Allah with their mouths, with their information. But Allah will complete His light, even though the disbelievers despise it. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us basira in these times. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would guide our leaders, would guide our communities, would protect our families. May Allah protect the women and the children of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa May Allah give strength and protect the men of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa May Allah give the true vision of Islam to those who are not Muslim. May Allah take away the veils from their eyes and see that, that Islam is the real solution to the problems of this world. May Allah complete His light. And we pray, if possible, may Allah let us see a little bit of this light in our, in our lifetimes. If we cannot, then we ask you, O Allah, to let our children see it. And let the Muslims see victory and begin to see the light. And may Allah give us the best. If we cannot see it in this world, give us the best in the hereafter. Have mercy upon us and enter us into paradise. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته